The last topic that we want to cover in this section is going to be that of difference quotients. So a difference quotient is an expression of the form f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. So an important problem in calculus is going to be taking the limit of this expression as h approaches 0. So the limit of as h approaches 0 of this difference quotient. Direct substitution for taking the limit of this difference quotient will always fail. And we can see that pretty easily. Regardless of what we get in the numerator, h is approaching 0, so we would plug in 0 for h. So we'll get something over 0, which is undefined. So we'll never be able to evaluate this using direct substitution without first working with that expression a little bit. So what we'll need to do is work on expanding and simplifying that expression with the goal of canceling the h in the denominator. So in each case, the problem will be a little bit different how we get to that result. But the goal is going to be to cancel this h in the denominator so that then we have a limit we can evaluate with direct substitution. So let's take the limit of this difference quotient, where in this case f of x is 7 minus 2x. First thing we want to do is take that difference quotient and instead of writing it in the form of f of whatever, actually plug in our function, that evaluated expression. So our function f is 7 minus 2x. And then in place of x, we're going to substitute in whatever's inside those parentheses. So in this case, 4 plus h. And then we'll subtract that function evaluated at 4. So this will be 7 minus 2 times 4. all over h. So what we've done is, again, just rewritten these f of whatever expressions by writing that function, and then in place of x, putting was that whatever is inside those parentheses. So we can start to expand this out, distribute the 2 through, distribute that negative through, combine any like terms. So this will give us 7 minus 8 minus 2h, minus 7, minus, or negative 1 times negative 2 times 4, so plus 8, all over h. So what we'll get is 7 minus 7 cancels, negative 8 plus 8 cancels. So we get the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 2h over h which will then let us cancel that h in the denominator, leaving us with the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 2. The limit of a constant is always just that constant. So the limit of our difference quotient in this case is negative 2. So again, keep in mind that key is going to be getting that h in the denominator to somehow cancel out. And that'll be our same goal that we have in the next example. So in this case, we're taking the limit as h approaches 0 of x squared, where x is going to be 1 plus h, that quantity squared, minus 1 squared, all over h. So keep in mind, this is the same thing as the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 plus h times 1 plus h minus 1 over h. So to expand out 1 plus h squared, we need to FOIL 1 plus h times 1 plus h. That'll give us 1 plus 2h plus h squared 
minus 1 all over h. 1 minus 1 will cancel, leaving us with the limit as h approaches 0 of 2h plus h squared over h. So at this point, we still have the h in the denominator. We can't cancel that yet. But if we recognize that we have an h in common between each of those two terms in the numerator, then we can factor out an h to rewrite that as h times 2 plus h all over h. So now that h in the denominator can cancel out. And we get the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 plus h, which is a polynomial function. So we can evaluate that using direct substitution. So we get 2 plus 0, or 2 as the limit of that difference quotient.